20th May. Welcome to today's audio devotion by Rev. Paddy Aqua. Today's topic, Commitment in Fellowship, Acts 2.42 NIV. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and to fellowship, to the breaking of bread and to prayer. Camaraderie pronounced Yao Kamaraderi, Kamaraderiaz, is a noun that describes the mutual trust and friendship among people who spend a lot of time together. It embodies a sense of fellowship and companionship, where individuals share a bond of brotherliness or sisterhood, characterized by closeness, affinity, and solidarity. This sense of mutual support and togetherness is essential in forming strong, supportive relationships. Heidi Reader offers a valuable insight into how to deepen commitment within these relationships. She states, Where resources go, commitment will grow. This implies that the effort and resources we invest in our relationships directly influence the strength of our commitment to them. A key element in enhancing this commitment is through contributions. Contributions are the deliberate actions and efforts we put into nurturing our relationships. Unlike many factors that may be out of our control, contributions are something we can always manage and increase. If you wish to be more committed to someone or something, Actively increasing your contributions can make a significant difference. Whether it's through time, effort, support or resources, these contributions act as a catalyst for deepening the bond and commitment in any relationship. People who give much to the church are often seen as seriously committed, reflecting a deep devotion to their faith and community. This commitment is vividly illustrated in Matthew 6.19.21, which emphasizes the importance of investing in spiritual treasures over earthly ones. The Message MSG version advises against hoarding material wealth, urging instead to stockpile treasure in heaven where it's safe from moth and rust and burglars. Similarly, the Amplified Bible, Classic Edition AMPC version, highlights the futility of accumulating earthly possessions, encouraging believers to heap up and store for yourselves treasures in heaven where they are imperishable. Both versions underscore the principle that where your treasure is, there will your heart be also suggesting that our investments reflect our true priorities and desires. To translate this principle into practical daily life, consider these examples. 1. Volunteering time and skills A person might dedicate their weekends to volunteering at a local soup kitchen or shelter run by their church. By giving their time and skills to help others, they demonstrate a commitment to their faith's teachings on service and compassion. This act of giving not only benefits those in need, but also strengthens the individual's connection to their faith community. 2. Financial Contributions Someone may choose to regularly donate a portion of their income to the church, supporting various ministries charitable activities, and maintenance of the church building. This financial sacrifice is a tangible expression of their commitment. Prioritizing spiritual well-being and community support over personal luxuries. Three, mentorship and teaching. An experienced member of the church might offer to mentor younger members or teach Sunday school. By sharing their knowledge and experience, they invest in the spiritual growth of others, building a stronger, more knowledgeable community. 
4. Supporting missions and outreach programs. Individuals might participate in or financially support missionary trips and outreach programs. These initiatives often aim to spread faith-based messages, provide aid to underserved communities, and foster goodwill. Participation in such activities demonstrates a commitment to living out the principles of their faith beyond their immediate environment. Five in your prayer and emotional support. Offering consistent prayer and emotional support to fellow church members, especially those going through difficult times, is another form of giving. This could involve organizing prayer groups, visiting the sick, or simply being available to listen and provide comfort. These examples illustrate how investing time, resources, and personal energy into church-related activities can deepen one's commitment and reflect a prioritization of spiritual values over material concerns. As Matthew 6, 19, 21 suggests, by focusing on these heavenly treasures, individuals not only strengthen their faith, but also build a legacy of meaningful contributions that endure beyond the temporal realm. In essence, camaraderie and commitment are built and sustained through the active and intentional contributions we make. By investing more of ourselves into our relationships, we foster a stronger, more supportive, and committed connection with others. Today's prayer, Father, bless my efforts to support and uplift our church and our community. May my actions bring glory to your name and further your kingdom here on earth. We ask for your blessing upon all that we do in your name. Guide me, protect me, and fill my hearts with your divine love, so that I may always seek to serve you and those around me with joy and dedication. If you love this audio devotion, kindly subscribe, like, and share this channel. Have a blessed day. Pass Caris and God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.